Hi, it's Lisa from Lisa Heal Yourself. And today I'm here with a contract for healing. This is a contract that you make to yourself. It's a vow, it's a promise. It's something that you commit, you basically commit to yourself from here forward that you will be healed. So what does that mean? Yes, of course you have probably done this before. Every birthday, every holiday, every um, New Year's, every day maybe even you wake up and you say, I'm going to be healed, I'm going to do it, I'm going to, just like a person who wants to lose weight, they wake up and say, today's the day, and they start out, they might stumble, and then they feel like they're off it, so at some point, a couple of months later, they recommit and they say, I'm committed again, I'm back on the, you know, the dieting train or whatever it is. Today, we are going to make a commitment to yourself that you are not falling off the bandwagon. This is not a six week you know, diet. This is not something you are going to commit to yourself that you will be healed. And the contract isn't from now for a year. Let's see what happens in a year. Let's see what happens in six months. Let's even try this for five years. This is a contract where you say, I commit to be healed no matter what, no matter how long it takes. There is no end date. I commit this lifestyle to be healed. So what does this contract look like? I would suggest that you write it out and post it up or speak it out on a video and replay it every day. Um, something where you can either read it or hear yourself saying it to yourself every day. So what you wanna do is you want to start out by saying the sentence, I will commit to fully 100% being healed. I commit to being 100% healed. So you wanna make that statement, however it resonates with you, um, that is your promise to yourself that you will no longer, you will be 100% healed, 100% healed. This will be behind you. You will be able to live your life. You will be 100% healed. However that resonates for you, think of your sentence and write it down or say it to yourself. This is your contract. This is your healing promise to yourself. Now you have to take it a step further and you say who, who you're promising this to. I promise this to myself. I promise this to my husband. I promise this to my dad. I promise this to my children. I promise this to everybody on this channel. I promise this to everybody. This is what you say to yourself. So whoever in your life that you are doing this for, you have to have a serious why. And usually the why is a person or a people or a situation because of something that you need to do or for somebody. So you are promising the above statement to these people, okay? And then you also say, and I'm promising this to myself first, to all these people and to myself first. So you definitely need the sentence in where you're promising it to yourself and whoever in your life that you're doing this for, who's going to benefit from this, who needs you to do this as well, and who it's going to mean something for you to do it for. You want to write that in there. And then you want to say why you want it and why you deserve it. Like, I want this because I want to live a happy, joyful life. I want to accomplish my dreams. I want to be able to do this. And I deserve it because I'm a good person, because I, I deserve it because I've, I've tried hard, I've, I've walked the walk, I have lessons to teach, whatever it is for you, why you want it and why you deserve it. Okay, and then you just end the contract by saying, and I will never, ever, ever abandon myself until it is so. This is my new life. I am healed, right? And then you sign it and date it and that's it for yourself. And you look at it every day or you listen to it every day. You think about it every day. So you're basically just recommitting every morning when you wake up to being healed. To this, like somebody who's trying to lose weight or trying to do like a goal, they have to wake up in the morning and say, I'm not gonna eat chocolate cake today. I commit to this today, right? Because I'm promising it to my family, to myself, and I want to be skinnier, and I deserve to lose weight because, you know, I deserve to feel my best, 
and then assign in date. So whatever, but you need to look at it every day because the people who often fail are not the people who fail to commit, they do commit. But when things go wrong, they sort of give up, they think they're falling off the bandwagon, they think that things are not going well, and then they wake up one morning and they don't commit. They're like, oh, I guess it's over. And they do wake up the next morning and they don't commit. And then suddenly weeks have gone by and they feel like they have broken the promise to themselves. And so it's not about failing and it's not about, even if something goes wrong, it's not like you failed. It's like every day you recommit, every moment you recommit, every minute you recommit until you just, that is who you are. That is the promise to yourself that that is the standard you hold yourself to. That is what you live from. And then, you know, it doesn't become this battle against whether you're doing it or not doing it. It just is. It's your contract. It's your vow to yourself, your promise to yourself. And that's um, no matter what, what you always fall back on. So I hope that you will make this commitment to yourself. I hope that you will actually handwrite and sign and date a contract with yourself. I hope that you will hold yourself accountable and I hope that you will recommit every single day when you wake up to being healed, to being 100% fully healed. You can and you will be 100% fully healed if you commit to being that person. I hope this helped. Now go do it.